statistical analyses are very often concerned with the difference between means. A typical example is an experiment designed to compare the mean of a control group with the mean of an experimental group. Inferential statistics used in the analysis of this type of experiment are based on the sampling distribution of the difference between means. The sampling distribution of the difference between means can be thought of as the distribution that would result if we repeated the following three steps over and over again. First, sample n1 scores from population 1 and n2 scores from population 2. Second, compute the means of the two samples, m1 and m2. And third, compute the difference between means, that is, m1 minus m2. The distribution of the differences between means is the sampling distribution of the difference between means. As you might expect, the mean of the sampling distribution of the difference between means is the difference between population means. The symbol mu with the subscript m1 minus m2 represents the mean of the sampling distribution of the difference between means. The right side of the equation, mu1 minus mu2, represents the difference between population means. For example, say that the mean test score of all 12-year-olds in a population were 34, and the mean test score of all 10-year-olds were 25. If numerous samples were taken from each age group and the mean difference computed each time, the mean of these differences between sample means would be 34 minus 25, which equals 9. From the variance sum law, we know that the variance of the sampling distribution of the difference between means is equal to the variance of the sampling distribution of the mean for population 1 plus the variance of the sampling distribution of the mean for population 2. Recall that the formula for the variance of the sampling distribution of the mean is the variance divided by the sample size. Since we have two populations and two samples, we need to distinguish between the two variances and sample sizes. We do this using the subscripts 1 and 2. Using this convention, we can write the formula for the variance of the sampling distribution of the difference between means as shown in the lowest formula. Recall that the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. We therefore can compute the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the difference between means by taking the square root. Remember, the standard deviation of a sampling distribution is called a standard error. Now let's look at an application of this formula. Assume there are two species of green beings on Mars. The mean height of species 1 is 32, while the mean height of species 2 is 22. The variances of the heights of the two species are 60 and 70 respectively, and the heights of both species are normally distributed. You randomly sample 10 members of species 1 and 14 members of species 2. What is the probability that the mean of the 10 members of species 1 will exceed the mean of the 14 members of species 2 by 5 or more? Without doing any calculations, you probably know that the probability is pretty high, since the difference in population means is 10. But what exactly is the probability? First, let's determine the sampling distribution of the difference between means. The first formula shows that the mean is 10. The second formula shows that the standard error is 3.317. Here is the sampling distribution of the difference between the means. Notice that it is normally distributed with a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 3.317. The area above 5 is shaded. The last step is to determine the area that is shaded. Using either a z-table or the normal calculator, the area can be determined to be 0.934. This means that the probability that the mean of the sample from species 1 will exceed the mean of the sample from species 2 by 5 or more is 0 0.934. As shown here, the formula for the standard error of the difference between means 
is much simpler if the sample sizes and the population variances are equal. Since the variances and sample sizes are the same, there's no need to use the subscripts 1 and 2 to differentiate these terms. The standard error of the difference between means is the square root of twice the variance divided by the size of each sample. This simplified version of the formula can be used for the following problem. The mean height of 15-year-old boys in centimeters is 175, and the variance is 64. For girls, the mean is 165, and the variance is 64. If 8 boys and 8 girls were sampled, what is the probability that the mean height of the sample of girls would be higher than the mean height of the sample of boys? In other words, what is the probability that the mean height of girls minus the mean height of boys is greater than 0? As before, the problem can be solved in terms of the sampling distribution of the difference between means, girls minus boys. The mean of the sampling distribution is 165 minus 175, which equals negative 10. The standard deviation of the distribution is 4, as shown. Here is a graph of the sampling distribution of the difference between the means. From this graph, we see that it is unlikely that the mean height for girls would be higher than the mean height for boys. Specifically, a difference between means of 0 is 2.5 standard deviations above the mean of negative 10. The probability of a score 2.5 or more standard deviations above the mean is 0.0062. It is therefore unlikely, but not inconceivable, that the girl's mean would be higher than the boy's mean.